Hi guys, welcome to Amazing Chiang Mai, the Shenan Show City Amazing of Chiang Mai. Today we're here in Ban Mei Kampong and I will show you around in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Hey guys, so welcome from Ban Me Kampong and this time we actually stay in a homestay which is the first time for us as well and we are treated here like we are guests in a home and it's really nice here it's actually called the uh, Anchan homestay and it's really cool so let me give you a quick tour of the it's actually a house not only a room so you can see you can sleep right here on the floor there's a room with a bed here There's everything that you could need, a fridge, microwave, you can eat and drink what you want. Let me show you the bathroom real quick. Shower and toilet. It's very good, that's all you need for one night. And all those personal pictures make it really cool really feels like you're in a home now we just arrived here but we already got some mango some sprite some water and some ice they're very kind here and since we got here off season they are doing some kind of construction outside just a little bit so it doesn't bother us too much <laughs> And now we're going to check out the temple here in the village and it's a very special one because there's only one of two that has a Ubersod built inside a water so yeah let's check that out Let's go down to check it out. Now the only way to get to the Elbow's Hut is through those pillars right here not as easy as it looks and it is in fact surrounded by water Now something I already like a lot about Mekampong is that the, you hear the constant flow of water everywhere where you are. And the second thing I love is that there's coffee growing everywhere wild coffee right here on those steps or in front of me right here so the temple here in Mekampong is definitely worth a visit when you're here pretty nice it's right here on the main street but there's actually only one street and lots of coffee shops everywhere But just walking around town is really getting you exhausted because it's really hot here even though we read it's cold here all year but it turned out it's just as hot as down in Chiang Mai today and the roads here are crazy I mean look at this one
it just goes up and up and around the corner and more up but while you're walking up here you have some really awesome views over there you can see the whole village which is pretty cool Now during your time in Mekampong, there's one place where you definitely gotta go, where everybody's going, which is called Chom Nok Chom Mai, and I will show you why. That's the coffee here, but that's not the real reason why everybody's coming here. Let me show you right now. Now the real reason is this one the view from here everybody comes here for taking the million dollar shot So the cafe is really great here and it's actually coffee out of the region. As far as I know, Mekampong produces about 5 tons of coffee every year, which is quite a lot for a small village like that. And now we arrived here at the heart of the city, the Mekampong waterfall. And part of it actually crossed the road right in front of me. And it's important while you're here at the waterfall do not catch all animals, just some are okay. Now this waterfall is supposed to have seven levels and Bia's actually gonna wait right here for me and I'm gonna check out or gonna try to check out all those seven levels. The way looks tough though. So this must be the second level. Of course, right now we're in the dry season and there's not as much water as it could be over here. But if there would be enough water, you'll have some very nice pools for swimming around here. So that would be an option to come back when there's actually more water. So now I'm at a place which I believe is actually the third level, but the way seems to be blocked here. So I guess I'm gonna have to turn back now. But this station is pretty cool as well. Let me show you. You can see behind me. And I think right there, the way is actually blocked, but let me check it out. Yeah, I'm definitely going back now. Now, earlier I said the waterfall is the heart of the city. What I actually meant by that was that it's very important for the city because all the electricity in Ban Mekampong actually is one from this waterfall. And the water is drinkable as well. It actually goes down to the reservoir down in Chiang Mai, which gives water for Chiang Mai and Lampun. So it's pretty important for Ban Mae Kampong as well as Chiang Mai and Lampun as well. Now what I really enjoy here is that I'm completely alone, kind of like in the Hoi Kha waterfall in Chiang Mai when I visited the first time. It's really peaceful here, there's just some wildlife actually going on here.
So we just came back from the waterfall and now we actually check out another coffee shop which is right next to Shom Nok Shamai and it's called Ra Bieng View. And the view is pretty good here as well. We got some strawberry soda. Mm, that's refreshing. And of course, another Americano. Mm, that's pretty good one as well. Yeah, I like that. Now the village of Ban Ne Kampong is actually more than a century old. And there's a flower found here, which is called Kampong. And together with the name Me of the river, it's called Me Kampong. So now we're gonna go back down to the village because many shops down there close at 6 p.m. I think as well. So we're gonna try to grab something to eat before the shops close. And actually it does feel a little bit cooler now. It's actually quite amazing how many homes of a homestay here in Mekampong. Mekampong was actually chosen to promote ecotourism as part of the OTOP One Tamun One product project and yeah it's working pretty good here. And now this shop is a landmark here, everybody has to take a photo here. Sometimes you can people lining up here for taking selfies. So now we got here for dinner. We actually opposite the can you see Lang Put Park in coffee shop. Lung Put. Maybe the dog wants to take a photo. <laughs> Have we gone eat some northern food? Some sour pork. Some grilled pork and some soup with pork and vegetable <coughs> mm. Mm, it's pretty good here mm. So now we just came back to our homestay and we had a pretty cool day today. We did a lot of walking, but it was worth it. We checked out some cool places and it's really beautiful here. So you should definitely come here by yourself. But tomorrow is another day and we'll see what else we can see there. And we're going to drink a lot of coffee. I know that one already.